it's tried that the constitution of Kenya is the supreme law of the land, and this apex court occupies a very critical position in the realization of the objectives and values of the constitution, because it has the final power of interpretation and application of the constitution, including the power to find any law, action or omission that is inconsistent with the constitution to be unconstitutional, and therefore invalid, null and void of initial. In the circumstances, Article 2, Clause 4 empowers this court to also empower this court to determine the constitutional validity of any decision made by the lower courts and the tribunals established under this constitution. At paragraph 51, in the case of Speaker of the Senate and another, versus the Attorney General and others of 2013, EKLR, Advisor Opinion Reference Number 2 of 2013, the Supreme Court of Kenya observed that the Constitution is a, pro is a transformative charter. Similarly, at paragraph 116, in Council of Governors and 47 others, was the Attorney General and three others of 2020 KR Reference Number 3 of 2019, this court declared that Kenya's constitution is one of the world's most progressive and transformative constitutions, which entrenches, entrenches the doctrine of constitutional supremacy and binds all persons and organs of state. Hence, the judiciary, and especially this court, has a pivotal role to play in the transformation of society by supervising the other arms of government and the lower courts to ensure that they discharge their constitutional obligations in the manner prescribed by the constitution. But at paragraph 118 in Council of Governors, Supra, this court sadly observed that the Constitution is not transforming Kenyan society due to the failures of the executive and legislative arms of government to uphold the Constitution. At paragraph 120, in the same case, this court stated, and I quote, as the apex court in this country, it behoves us, nay, we are obligated by Article 259 of the Constitution to have a global view of the problem giving rise to this reference and give the country appropriate direction. To do otherwise would be a, a dereliction of our duty and obligation to the Kenyan people. At paragraphs 124, 125, and 126, the court goes on to lament the fact that the National Assembly and the Senate have not been able to internalize or to abide by its, its directions and orders in the various references. And I quote paragraph 126, where the court says, Instead of complying with those clear pronouncements of this court, the two houses of parliament have been taking the country in a circus in their unnecessary tough wars. Instead of obeying those clear pronouncements of this court, the National Assembly has, in subsequent years, repeated what provoked the said 2013 reference for advice or opinion. That is a dangerous course of action which should be you should not be allowed. My ladies and my lords, it's against this background, the above background, that this court is being called upon to make a determination in this matter. So I would like to submit that the taxing power of parliament is donated by the people at Article 210 of the Constitution, and it requires that it must be exercised through legislation or acts of parliament. And to exercise legislat legislative power, Article 109 of the Constitution categorically states how the legislative power is to be exercised. It states, Parliament shall exercise its legislative power through bills passed by Parliament and assented to by the President. Parliament does not exercise its legislative power in any other way, as the, as the appellants would like to convince this court example by saying that there was some document containing estimates of uh, revenue. There is no there is, there is no act of parliament that are produced to show that the, acts, the, the, the estimates of revenue were enacted into law. It's a, I submit that the budget making process in parliament under Article 221 is a legislative process that cannot culminate in reports, statements, or other documents. It must culminate in an act of parliament. And the respondents have not produced an act of parliament containing 
estimates of revenue 